Dairy farming to me is fun. <laughs> fun. A little fun. more enthusiasm. <laughs> okay. I think you need to do one of these. Why? <laughs> okay, I'm, I won't be so serious. I'm Evan Maxger. I'm 33 years old. I'm with Malte Rose Jerseys. I'm a third generation dairy farmer. I'm Darcy Steffes. I'm a fourth generation family farmer on Steffes Registered Holsteins, and I am 25. I'm Melissa Kaminsky. I'm a third generation dairy farmer on BDD Farm, and I'm 26 years old. Are we supposed to say again? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Michael Johnson. Our farm name is Trailside Holsteins. I'm a second generation dairy farmer. I'm 31 years old. I work with baby calves all day from the day they're born and that is obviously my favorite job. It's something I've done since I could walk out there with my mom and hold a bottle. I'd say the best part about my typical day would be seeing the cows that are comfortable, that they're resting, have plenty of food and water, and that we're taking care of them. It is your responsibility to take care of these animals because they can't take care of themselves. Just like children, they can't take care of themselves. So when you see them growing and they look happy, it's just a really deep sense of pride. I really enjoy having my family here. Being, being able to bring my kids to work any day I want is awesome. The unique thing about dairy farms is every farm has their own story. Mm -hmm. Like you have five brothers at farm. You know you farm <laughs> yeah. with your parents. We're third generation. Every farm has got its own story. I know there are plenty of people that are doing awesome things, taking care of their herds. There's a lot of people that fear our dairy farms. Um, so I feel like one of my contributions can be that I'm able to help tell the dairy story. You know, if you don't overthink it and just tell people what you're doing, then it's, it's an easy, easy, easy story to tell. I run a Facebook page for our farm. If you follow me personally on Instagram and Snapchat, I do a lot of just calves because everybody loves cute calves. It's not too hard to take a picture during the middle of the day, something cool you see, new baby calf. Take it home before you go to bed, throw it up on Facebook, throw it on Instagram. One thing that uh, our farm had an opportunity to do this past year was uh, my wife did a Facebook Live kind of tour of our farm, and so people could ask questions as she was talking. The biggest joy, is, as I kind of mentioned before, is, is seeing the kids excited about our family farm. And so she showed the full picture of the farm um, and had some interaction with consumers live, and that was just a great um, outlet for us to tell our story. It's your story. I mean, you want to tell your story. There's nobody else that can tell it. I just, I just think we have to. We've been involved with our local grocery store a little bit, doing some cheese samples. This is delicious. And we enjoy doing that to bridge that gap between the consumer and their product, put a face on them. Their milk, you know, we take a lot of pride in, you know, producing a quality product every day. So are these like fresh, fresh? These were just last week. To see that end product of a consumer buying the cheese or the milk and enjoying it, I mean, there's nothing more satisfying. I'm gonna try one of the buttermilk ones. This is awesome. He's double uh, fisting now. <laughs> now. We try to host as many tours as we can, schools, uh, churches, um, daycare centers. I think the kids learn the most. They just soak that right in. It's kind of fun to watch the connection when people realize she's a dairy farmer. She knows and when people ask me questions, they're like, now I have, a re I have an actual resource. Not Google, not, Google. not something I watch <laughs> on Netflix. This is a person that deals with it every day. For me, being from a multi-generational farm, people that came before you, that put in a lot of work, there's a lot of wisdom there too, a lot of things to be learned. You get to take things with you that somebody else taught you. Your grandpa might have taught you something and then your grandma did. One thing that my great grandpa always said is where there's life, there's hope. So we really take that with us. My dad learned from my grandpa and I've learned from my dad and that's been really, really helpful for my generation. And he's also learned from us, which is kind of cool to see too, it goes both ways. Um, but he kind of built that foundation so that we could be successful dairy farmers like we are today. We like to refer to it as our legacy a lot and like we take a lot of pride in our legacy and I want to make this a better place for my kids because my dad has given me such a great opportunity. We hope that the next generation will pick up where we left Same. off and go to the next page. Dairy farming to me is my passion. Fun. Fulfilling. Family. High five all, all around. around. Good job. Good job, team. Yeah,